Welcome back. Uh, now to next major conversation, uh, we have a human rights lawyer joining us. Uh, he is Justice Uhuegu, um, who will do justice, of course, no pun intended, to the issue up next. A legal practitioner, uh, Anigoro Matthias, has faulted the judgment of the National Industrial Court, ordering the immediate upward review of the judge's salaries on the grounds that it was delivered out of the jurisdiction and should be voided forthwith. Now, Justice uh, Obasaki Osage had, in her judgment, held that the minimum monthly salary of 10 million naira should be paid to the Chief Justice of Nigeria and 9 million naira to each Justice of the Supreme Court. Uh, the judgment followed a suit filed by Senior Advocate of Nigeria Chief Sebastian Hon, who argued that since 2008, when judges' salaries and allowances were last increased, inflationary trends and socio-economic realities have rendered such pay inadequate. Oh, however, picking holes in the judgment, uh, the lawyer said the plaintiff, uh, Mr. Sebastian Horn, lacked uh, the requisite local standing to institute the case and the court was duty-bound to have declined its jurisdiction and dismissed the case now. Uh, to help us unpack this and understand what's going on and analyze, we have uh, once again Justice Uhuebu, who is a human rights lawyer. Uh, Mr. Uhuebu, thank you very much for your time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Mrs. Martin. Now, uh, for those who do not understand what's going on here, we have we hear that the lawyer who's gone to court, or who's rather commented, uh, commented on the uh, the decision of the National Industrial Court regarding the salaries of the members of the of the bench. What exactly is is this lawyer's problem, as far as you can tell? Well, it, 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 when uh, issues comes up like this, uh, you look at the interest. Why? First of all, the person that went to court with us, what does he want to achieve and how the way? Um, the lawyer actually talked about it. And uh, actually, when the matter comes up in court, the first thing the court looks at is issue of local standing. That is the cause of action. Talk about local standing, talk about cause of action. Then local standing in your interest, what is your interest? You have interest of matter. One, secondly, how would that uh, case or judgment of the court affect you personally for you to even go to court in the first place? I think um, the lawyer is just asking uh, uh, the people that are supposed to go to court to challenge or to request for uh, increment salary or whatever is supposed to be people that are directly affected by the social justice as we're talking about. So, uh, the law is no respect for the interest of what is happening in Nigeria. Anybody yeah. can come up one day to challenge any situation here. Yeah. Hmm. All right. The uh, 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 audio hasn't been too clear, but are you... Are you agreeing with uh, the, the view of this uh, legal practitioner, Matthias Anigoro, uh, uh, that um, the lawyer who, who filed this suit lacks the uh, local standing? Is that what you're saying? Or are you disagreeing with him? No, no. The lawyer, remember that the person that filed the suit, the lawyer, in the first place, is the member of the bar, that's the major bar. And all the judges, they are also members of the bar of the member association. Despite the fact that they are in the bench, they are also members of the member association. So for me, a lawyer, any lawyer can come up with any issue that affects the judiciary. Because we are talking about the judiciary here. So for me, I believe he has a local standing because if the court did not find him to have the local standing to go to court for such matter. The court wouldn't have even assumed the issue. So in the wisdom of the court, the court must have looked at the issue of the vision vis-a-vis the person that fight 
For me, if it were to be another person who is not a lawyer, who is not a member of the SPA, who is not a director of the All right. Um, so, so you've talked about the fact that uh, this uh, lawyer who was instituted, who's filed this suit, uh, the National Industrial Court, is a member of uh, the bar. Indeed, he's a very senior member of the INA bar. Um, and of course, when you talk about local standing, you've broken it down for us. You have to have something at stake for you to file a suit. Being a member of the bar, you've said that all members of the bench are members of the bar, uh, if, I go, if I heard you correctly. But are members yeah. of the bar members of the bench? The answer is no. <laughs> yeah, the answer is no. But remember, you won't be a lawyer first. You must be a member of the bar before your court sits on the bench. In fact, let me say this. Uh, when when uh, Uputa, Uputa uh, JSC of Desert Memory was asked a question, the difference between the bar and the bench, he simply answered me and said that a lawyer is he who stands in the bar to argue matters. While a judge is somebody who, after long standing at the bar, is supposed to sit on the bench. So the implication there is that the judge also is a member of the bar. You must be a lawyer before you are appointed. Yes, yeah, but, but 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 Justice Uhuebu, uh, can a, a, a member of the of of the bench? This is a judge who uh, who is sacked or who retires. Can this 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 uh, this judge go back to practice law? But of course, of course. If, if, if you are a member of the bench and you have retired, you can set up a, a law firm. You're still a lawyer. But I've, I've, I've heard that um, once you leave the, 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 the bench, you are not allowed to go back to practice law. The, 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 truth, of, the truth about it is that when you set up a law firm, you can employ people in the law firm. But can you can you work as a practicing lawyer after graduating and retiring or you know being leaving the the the, the, uh, the bench? Can you act? As, I'm, I'm sure it's no because I've spoken to lawyers it, it, it who tell me it's in no. Practice, in practice, no. You can't practice. Hello, sir. Okay, so you're saying as a, yes, a retired yes. or, or fired lawyer, maybe you were sacked. You cannot practice once you leave. The bench. So you're talking about facts. There's a difference between sparking and the... Uh, okay. And, uh, please allow uh, me allow me to rephrase my question. Once a lawyer uh, who becomes a judge leaves the position of being a judge, leaves the bench, can he or she practice again as a lawyer in Nigeria? Well, you are still a member of the bar. So but the issue, the standard is by, by the rules. Once you have retired as a judge, because in the court of superior record, you are not expected to go and start practicing as a lawyer or go and start standing in the bar. Okay, so if, if, if that is said that the, you can't go back to practice, you know, as a lawyer, then wherein lies the connection between, you know, you, for instance, you uh, as an example, as a lawyer, and a judge? It therefore means that they are not. There's no connection, wouldn't you say? No, you can't say that. No, I said something. Before you become a judge, you are already first of all a lawyer. You cannot be appointed as a judge without being a lawyer. No, but you're saying that when you leave the, 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 the bar and you know, graduate to the bench, you are saying goodbye, bye-bye, au revoir to the bar. But that does not mean that you're not a member of the bar. I don't know whether you're not a member of the bar. That does not mean that you're not a member of the, of the Nigerian Bar Association. Your position was not withdrawn from you. Okay. Uh, you, 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 I did some research, um, and uh, you were able to, to give us a sort of a definition and explanation as to why this lawyer... Uh, who filed this suit before the National Industrial Court uh, raised the issue of local standing. And uh, a little bit of what I, I was able to you know, fish out from the, uh, the, the material I, I, I had access to 
is to say local standing is a condition, just like you've said, you know, uh, that a party seeking a legal remedy must show they have, uh, by demonstrating to the court, sufficient connection to and harm from the law action challenged uh, to support that party's participation in the case. So w is there sufficient connection to between the lawyer who filed this suit and how much the Chief Justice earns? Is there sufficient harm from this increase in the salaries of uh, the Chief Justice of Nigeria and judges, justices of the Supreme Court to this particular lawyer from the increase in these salaries? Any sufficient connection? Or harm. What does this lawyer suffer as a result of this, this, these, uh, that court, that national industrial court uh, decision? Yeah, is it for me personally? Um, that's why the fact that he's even about the Supreme Court judges. If I were to go to court for, uh, for the same purpose, I would even be conversing for all the adjudicators, all the judges in Nigeria. And even spread down to the magistrate. Why? Because, because if their standard of living and salary is something to write home about, we we'll continue to be having some judgments in, in the court. And remember, judgments will affect everybody in the society. Because I want to come to case laws. When judgments are given, in court, it becomes a law until set aside. So everybody becomes a partaker of him. So naturally, if the judges or the adjudicators are paid well, the issue of giving judgments by influence or one thing or the other will be a thing, a thing that will not exist. Because we have issues where some people will come and argue or allege that a judge collected bribes. And all the rest, especially in election petitions and all the rest. But if judges' salaries and welfare is well taken care of, all these allegations will not be coming up. But it's affecting the society. It's affecting the judiciary. Mm. Okay, so, so what you're saying basically is that um, uh, the harm uh, uh, or the um, adverse effect to this particular lawyer or any lawyer in the country is that if the judges are not paid well, uh, it will obviously affect the, uh, the, the way. Uh, the career they work and maybe make them susceptible to, to can, influence, yeah, influence. Yeah. Whatever they are doing in chamber, their judgment are not the right. All right. So uh, if they paid better, the lawyers will also have better, fairer judgments, therefore. Definitely. You don't need to know the court before you know who you are. Because there's a saying that some people always say, know the law and know the court. For me, it's an aberration. What you need to do is to know the law and not the court. Hmm. What, what about the, 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 the position or the issue of jurisdiction of the, uh, the National Industrial Court, which, um, you know, uh, we're all aware, you know, the, the, the position or what the, the, uh, the responsibility and the duties of the National Industrial Court uh, in Nigeria, you know, labor disputes and all that. Um, the lawyer is also faulting the... Uh, this whole situation in respect to the jurisdiction of the court that uh, entertained this uh, suit? Well, the truth is that you have said it all. The, 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 the National Industrial Court is statute of labor law and vis a vis employer employee relationship and all the law. So the judges are also employees. So, I, in as much as the uh, matter of the but the court itself must have taken all this into consideration before having the decision. Okay, all right. Um, um, what, what, what do you think will, will inform a lawyer having such a view? You know, it's hard to see all the lawyers in the country or in, in the state having the same view on a particular matter. Uh, so what do you think will inform a lawyer having such a view? Um, is it that he doesn't want to see the, um, the, the lawyer, the judges better paid? Or he just simply feels that um, the right thing should. Can can you read the mind a bit into the the motives and the reasoning behind this lawyer raising questions over uh, the case? Yeah, like I said earlier, personally, if I were to go to court, I would be going to court of conversing for a uniform um, 
salary shall labor for all judges in Nigeria. There are some states, for example, in Nigeria today that the, the adjudicator, when I talk about adjudicator, I mean the, the, the members of the bank that are not being that are not being paid well. Their their welfare is not being catered for. And judiciary in such states, you know, becomes more like a Latin stock. So how do you now let me tell you one thing? I keep on saying this on and on again. Any country that the judiciary has failed, that country is finished. Judiciary is the only arm that can revive a country when the country is. And that is why we say that judiciary is the last hope of the common man. That person that you are hoping to be the last hope of the common man, what about the welfare of that person and all the rest? All right. All right. Uh, but back to the issue of local study, permit me to ask and bring that up again. Um, are you supposed to, to just maybe talk about in general terms to prove how a case affects you, um, how it harms you? Uh, are you supposed to give, as a lawyer, you know, or, or a, a, a plaintiff before a court, a, a, a case in point, particular cases in point, to prove that um, injury came to you or harm came to you as a result of a situation for which you want to see changed? So, for instance, this lawyer is supposed to show uh, proof to the court, uh, the National Industrial Court, uh, that give them instances, specific instances where uh, he suffered harm, injury, you know, adverse situation as a result of a, a low payment, perceived low payment and salaries of judges in the country. Is it meant to show that? that well, to me, to me he, he may or may not. Because, for example, uh, the Alita Dwight, who always said that injury to one is injury to all. Let me also give you an example. You, today, as a journalist, that's not the fact that you are in one media house. But you can also challenge an issue that is happening in another media house. Why? Because you are a journalist. Yeah, but but if no, if, 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 if I if I go to court, there's something I hear lawyers say or judges say sufficient reason. Uh, am I not supposed to present sufficient reason or proof or evidence that the issue at hand, the, the matter, the facts uh, uh, affect me personally, and give them instances to say oh, on this date that day this happened and it affected me, and that's why I'm coming to the court to say uh, please make this you know change. And rule in my favor. So, sufficient reason is different from local standing. Now, let me let, let me let me give you an example. For example, in the issue of uh, fundamental human rights application, the law the law has that you can you go to court to enforce your right if your right has been infringed on, about to be infringed on, or likely to be infringed on. So, we do it when your right to be infringed on before you now go to court. To apply for right. Okay, all right. Uh, in in your view, do you feel that um, if this is implemented, if there's no challenge to this decision uh, by by the Honourable Justice of the uh, National Industrial Court, um, uh, Milord uh, Justice Obaseki Osage, uh, who has directed that the National Assembly the Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Fiscal Commission, the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, and the National Judicial Commission comply with the directive of the court to ensure immediate compliance uh, with its order. Do you, do you expect that after such an order is, is complied with by these uh, um, apparatists or apart of state, um, do you suspect that the issues of bribery or you know, alleged bribery um, by of judges in the country will, will cease automatically. Uh, Miss Ohui, why are you there, sir? All right, we seem to have a, a network connection, and uh, we've we've lost we've lost the guest, but I think he's been able to uh, do justice to the the topic at hand. Uh, quite interesting one, a very interesting one indeed. I even had to catch a break, a sweat or two on my face. All right, um, uh, thanks for joining us on this episode of uh, uh, Legal Education 101. Let's call it that. Um, the Breakfast uh, will be back tomorrow with more interesting analysis 
of the relevant issues in national life. My name is Kofi Patels. Please follow us on social media at Plus TV Africa on YouTube. You can also follow us. We have two accounts there, Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. We're also on the internet at PlusTVAfrica.com. Thanks for joining us. We return tomorrow. Good morning.